With most smartphones, what you see is what you get with the display. While you can adjust the brightness, you have no control over the contrast or the color. Luckily, Samsung isn't like most manufacturers. I'm Dan Graziano, and I'm going to show you how to change the screen mode on the Galaxy S5. In the company's Note and S line of smartphones, Samsung gives the user the ability to adjust the display to meet their certain needs. Go to the Settings menu, click on Display, and select Screen Mode. From here, you'll be presented with five options, Adapt Display, Dynamic, Standard, Professional Photo, and Cinema. By default, the phone is set to Adapt Display. This will optimize the color range, saturation, and sharpness of the display while inside the camera, gallery, internet, Google Play Books, smart remote, and video apps. However, this mode may not work with some third-party apps. It's best to turn on an adapt display when using the phone in high ambient light, like say when you're outdoors on a bright sunny day. When the display is set to dynamic and standard modes, both will oversaturate colors quite a bit. Dynamic more so than standard, but if you want colors that pop and don't care about accuracy, this mode's for you. Professional Photo offers good colors and should be used when viewing high-end Adobe RGB photos such as those taken with a DSLR camera. But if you want the most accurate colors, you should go with Cinema Mode. The folks over at DisplayMate found that while in Cinema Mode, the Galaxy S5 had the most accurate display of any smartphone or tablet they have ever tested. Cinema Mode is perfect for viewing photos of friends and family and watching movies and TV shows. When shopping for products online, having the display in cinema mode will ensure that that blue shirt you're buying is the correct shade of blue. Cinema mode performs best when used inside areas with low ambient light. I also recommend disabling the Galaxy S5's auto adjust screen tone setting. This option attempts to reduce power consumption by adjusting the screen's brightness based on the on-screen image. At the same time, however, it can also reduce color accuracy and contrast ratios. Disabling this feature will help unleash the phone's full light output capabilities while also improving color and contrast. This option can be turned off by going to Settings, clicking on Display, and unchecking the Auto Adjust Screen Tone box. For more information about the different screen modes on the Galaxy S5, check out my article on howto.cnet.com. Also, reach out to me on Twitter with any questions or comments. I'm Dan Graziano for CNET. Thanks for watching.